Hello and how are you doing? Welcome to Now That You Are a Graduate. A special recording for you out there, all right? Whether you're a university graduate, a polytechnic graduate, or from College of Education, or anything from, you know, anything that has tertiary around it, all right, this is for you. And if you're watching this before you graduate, you are of all men most blessed, all right? So I'm going straight into it, all right? It's going to be a five-part series, generally, all right? So this is the first one. I'm going to be talking about survival skills, all right? Yes, you went school and all that but you're landing into another world as the most junior person <laughs> did you get that yeah as the most junior person just the way when we finished primary school we went to secondary school we went back to gs1 we're the most junior we finished secondary school we got to university went to year one we're the most junior all right so right now in the ladder you're the most junior in this scheme all right but then you have a lot to offer but how do you quickly start padding yourself and getting yourself ready to have accelerated you know work in your journey of success in your journey of fulfillment at this level all right so very importantly survival skills but i'm going to be sharing with you survival skills of the 21st century today's world what are survival skills that you want to invest in that you want to quickly quickly acquire and be using to give you a head start all right the first one is whoa first aid <laughs> very simple right learn first aid if you didn't do it in school or if you forgot to go and find where to learn it so that you can learn how to you know, administer first aid treatment to yourself or to somebody wherever you are. It will come in handy in many ways. It has come in handy for me in many ways. No, I've never really used it for myself many times, but I've used it to help certain people. Some have saved lives. Some have ended up leading us to have better relationships and led to better opportunities. I didn't do it for the opportunity, but it opened many doors because I knew what to do at that point in time. I took a course with the Red Cross or something like that. Like that, and you can find so many of those things. So your first aid, health first. Learn about that. The next one is. Very importantly, at this stage, many of you have left your cities, you've left your countries, or you're somewhere else. Possibly, you may be squatting or sharing with a friend. Maybe sharing an apartment or sharing a space with a friend like that. This, I call this sharing or squatting skills, all right? Somebody's helping you. You're squatting with somebody. It's not your house. So don't be doing as if it's your house like that. Don't go and carry 10 visitors to visit you at the same time without the person that's squatting you knowing. They're not scatter everywhere like they're not be thinking our friends are supposed to understand each other. Now. No, 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 no. You are building black, bad blood. It's not your house. Be the best guest ever. Keep the place clean. Wash, wash plates. Do all those things like that. Let the person even think, ah, oh, you are doing too much. Yes, it's better. Because why the person is giving you space. It's not like you are contributing rent together. Somebody is just squatting you for the meantime. Be the best person the person has ever squatted, all right? Sometimes when you receive money as you're coming back, buy some things that the house will use. Don't just depend on the person for everything. Yes, the person may not tell you to buy anything. It could be a relative trying to support you and all that. But the little things you can do, do it. Do it. it. It puts you as a position of a giver, not just always taking, 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 receiving. All right? See, permission. If you see a need in the house that you can meet, do it. All right? Some of them is not even about money. Sometimes it's just concern and uh, concern towards what is going on in the house or in the environment. Do it. Don't take it as your right. It's a privilege because if not, you start building entitlement syndrome. All right? And don't get into unnecessary argument and quarrels and all that. No, 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 no. You're just in a stage of your life. You may be there for a month, two months, three months, maybe one year. But that phase, make it the best phase of that person keeping you so that the person, next time, will have the, you know, the heart to even squat another person because you did so well. Let them miss you when you want to go. All right? And these are the kind of things you do you consciously do them, all right? You know, you won't be dirty, you won't keep dirty clothes, scatter them, you, you won't wake up and run out of there without making the bed. Those little, little things are important to, they may not tell you, they may not say to your front, they will say it behind you and way, way behind you, and when you leave, they'll say, oh, thank God you left. No, that doesn't, that, that should have been you. You should be the one that when you want to leave, they say, oh my God, why are you leaving? And you know you can stay here forever. Make yourself that kind of person. And many times, it's just small, small skills. Don't be a greedy person. Share what you can share and you're building. You're not in a competition with anybody. Don't enter any competition. You are building your life, all right? I call that sharing and squatting skills. The third one, learn how to drive. You maybe say, ah, I don't have a car yet. Uh-uh. How many people learn? How many people had a car before they learned how to drive? Right now, is a survival skill. Learn how to drive. Who knows whether you won't get a job immediately? Who knows that you'll be in a place where driving can save you or can help you, right? You can... Drive Uber. You can, you can, you can, you can do that. You can. You may not have anything to contribute anywhere, but driving. They say, "Oh, can you drive?" And you're able to run errands, driving, and all that. Yeah, it's a skill, and you will need it when you when you have a car. So don't wait till you have a car to learn how to drive. Go and invest in it. Go to a driving school. Get somebody who knows how to drive. Your friend to teach you. Overcoming and add it to your skill set is very, very important. It will come in in ways you never imagined. All right, this is a survival. It's part of a survival skill. Learn how to drive. Whether you have a car or not, invest in yourself and learn how to drive. If you if you learn how to drive trailer and everything it's not even bad too you can add that one to your collection all right but at least learn how to move a very quick car a bike 
a keke anyone you want to learn but at least a car learn how to drive all right next one learn how to swim hey so i'm saying i'm not a mommy water or papi water don't you don't have to be a mommy water or papi water for this one is it is a life skill to you You never know where you find yourself tomorrow there could be a flood there could be something i'm sometimes for recreation or for leisure all right for exercise learn how to swim it's one of those things that usually have a lifetime value just like driving all right you may say i was not born in the water and all those stuff like that many people are not you can go and learn it you say ah, you will drown you have water phobia uh-uh there are many other phobias you have that you don't know but you overcame them go and learn and add it to your life it will enrich your life enrich your experiences and enrich what you have to offer to others and conversations as well all right it's part of a survival skill the next one is cooking learn how to cook it's not just for girls guys learn how to cook you may not be the best cook, but at least you can take care of yourself. You can make a few dishes and all that. It will really help you. I- I'm saying it because out-, out of experience, it helped me one time. Funny enough, I was in a place where we went for a course, and it was outside Nigeria, and we had a lot of Nigerians there, but there was no place to get Nigerian food. So we were managing the food of several other ethnicities there. But I just woke up one day like, ah, I went to one chef, uh, and one of the uh, chefs and told him that, ah, I can teach you how to make this particular stew. It was stew. I teach you how to make stew and combine it with rice, with beans and plantain and all that. So the guy like, oh, really? I said, fine, give me an apron. I showed him how to do it. Thanks to my mama that taught me how to make stew when we were young. <laughs> all right. So I taught him how to do it and everything. We're like, fine. So could we test it out? I'm like, oh, yeah. They put notice out, posters out. I'm like, ah, guys, you're going to be Nigerian food on so so and so day, blah, 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 blah. That day was like a party. People came and ate and they some forgot their phones, some forgot their books. They were so happy because they're not eating that in a long time. So we went ahead, did all that. And the next thing, we did another day. Before long, um, we had turned that place to a major restaurant in the school. And we had a deal. He said, for everything I do, as long as I'm there, I'll get 50% discount for me and my friends. I don't know if, if it was the best deal, but it helped me to the point that I didn't need to worry about money. when I, if uh, About food, I didn't have money. I could just go there and I'll get free food. All right. And my friends, of course, trust. They were always coming around to, you know, to benefit from that. But what helped me there was just cooking, that, giving the opportunity. And I stayed there for quite a while and I enjoyed that privilege. All right. So... These are skills you can learn. It can help you save money in your personal area. It can help you build trees and build relationships. It's very fantastic, all right? Also, learn computer skills and internet skills. Learn how to Google. Learn how to shop online. Learn how to book play um, a flight ticket online. Learn how to book uh, Uber, Uber ride online. Learn how to track goods online. Learn how to book bus ride online. The, the future is internet. The future is online. All right. So don't 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 slack. Don't put yourself back. Learn how to do those things. Learn how to fill forms. Learn how to apply for stuff online. Learn how to do it yourself as much as possible. Is a necessary skill for survival in this age and time that we are in. All right. All right. Learn how to do those things. Learn how to pay for subscriptions. Learn, uh, subscriptions and all that. Learn how to do. In fact, you can even make money from this one. You can even be teaching people that don't know how to do this and use that service to, to you know to 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 gain and acquire some money for yourself and all that. I did that at the point I was helping people book flights and making so much more change by the side back then um, in the day so there are many things you could you could you could do if you learn this for yourself and for others as well and very importantly home training don't forget your home training learn respect if you didn't learn him respect people now you are meeting a set of people you've never met in your life some of them are outside your normal sphere of influence respect people because you don't know who you are talking with and moreover when you respect people it increases respect for yourself respect people and be kind towards people be kind towards people because you are building a new world now you are meeting new people you're you're, you're interfacing with new people be kind have a kind don't be wicked don't be very 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 bitter very very uh, revengeful or vengeful very you know don't, don't don't be that kind of person be respectful be kind it will make you a lot more resourceful and it will help you connect with interesting and beautiful minds that can help you along your journey all right so when we look at the survival skills i've talked about sharing and squatting skills first aid driving skills swimming skills cooking skills computer internet literacy um respect and kindness i'll put reading here and all that all right if you don't know you can learn how to if you don't know how to write learn how to write it's different from school writing learn how to express yourself in writing as well but these are not very very major yet especially especially if you're not in marketing and all that but you can learn it these are survival skills that can help you anywhere anytime in any country and, and, and in any place they will help you all right hope this was of value to you Pick the one that suits you. Pick the one that you want to do and take action and take it real fast. All right. Subscribe for the video and get ready to watch the next um, installment where I'm going to be talking about building your networking, um, improving your networking skills and building powerful, influential contact networks that you will need along the way. That way you know that your talent is not enough. Your first class may not be enough. Your second class may not be enough. Who you were, how popular you were in school may not be enough. But out there, how to now build this new network. 
that are influential, that are powerful, and not just because they want to help you, you have something to offer. So it's going to be a mutually profitable relationship with high network and high contact along the way as a graduate. All right. So hope to see you in the next video. Share this video with your friends. All right. You can drop your questions and comment and you know whatever suggestions you have in the comment section. I'll be glad to reply to you. All right. See you in my next video.